Hey, hey guys, Scott here with EcoV. I'm regional sales manager for the Southern West Coast. I cover all of Southern California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Las Vegas, where I, I like to say just the fun part of Nevada. <laughs> The rest doesn't matter. No. Um, we, so I heard about this from Mike and wanted to come talk to you guys about the EMS SI or commercial line. Um, although my card says I'm from Long Beach or from Toronto, I really live in Long Beach, California, where I come from. Um, but a little bit about the EMS SI. This is a great product for commercial applications. The bread and butter of it is uh, package units customer has a ton of them out there and he's trying to figure out how he can have more visibility into that so currently or, or before our product you know he might do a centralized control system or, and or connect it all um, but that would be really expensive and the current solutions out there are real heavy duty that are a little bit complicated lots of functionality and everything but um, not something that's just easy plug and play or the alternative is he just doesn't have the visibility. Maybe he puts a Pelican box on his thermostats, tells nobody to touch him, so he programs them once and hopes it stays that way, right? Mm -hmm. um, introducing the EMS SI, so everybody you know, you can get some handouts. Um, maybe with the YouTube video, we can put my contact information on here or something if you guys need anything else. But um, pretty much now, he just takes off that thermostat puts on ours, names it, connects it to Wi-Fi, and from and then does, does a simple configuration of, you know, is it a heat pump, conventional. Um, and then from there, he's pretty much finished. He takes that serial number down and does that all throughout the facilities, goes online, creates an account, puts those serial numbers in, and it'll pair, and he has full visibility of that thermostat, can fully control it all from his computer. So now instead of having to make a program and, and go through your configuration of each thermostat, putting a Pelican box on there, locking it up, um, he just programs it once, check, check, check to all the different thermostats he has installed. And we have customers managing over six, 800 thermostats all remotely from one portal. And it'll just get pushed out to every thermostat. So how many sensors is in a room that you can work? in a building can you control with one stat? The sensors, so the the out the, the back plate of it, you know, we can do zoning and um, hook up two dry contacts or sensors. So it's basically a 10K sensor, whether that's binary, so, you know, open, closed, like a dry contact, or um, it could measure temperature. And he can choose to do temperature averaging if he wants to put two temperature sensors out there. Or yeah, just be a wired sensor, though, right? Correct. Yeah. Right. And so right. for for yeah. an EMS situation, they have to be wired. Yeah. On this particular one. On this particular or all of them. On this particular one. Okay. We have another thermostat called the EcoB three, which is residential to light commercial. It's a little bit flashy, a sleek design, resonates really well with homeowners. That's the black glass. That we've you seen. got it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Isn't that the one that they have a, a something that hooks up to the inside of the unit though? Champion Logistics, remember that one? Champion Logistics has an actual like module that's on the red wire going to the board before it goes to the board. Yeah, that's that's an older thermostat, um, and that one's been discontinued. It's obsolete, obsolete or gone to into life. Um, uh, what what you're talking about? You would put that module at yes. the unit, at the unit and, and that where, that's where you'd have all your dry contacts. You could do economize your control, and you'd be able to manage more than just two dry contacts. Um, problem is, you know, adds a little bit more to the install. There's more stuff you have to hook up, and we found that a lot of people weren't using those added features. I think it was something out there like ninety, or, you know, ninety five percent of of people buying the thermostat weren't using them they're using two or less. So we said, okay, let's simplify it, lower the cost, and make it more plug and play. Okay. That's what we did. Because I know we've had problems with old ones where I've actually had to take them out because they wouldn't send power through when they're too to. Yeah. And I mean, on a, on a commercial unit, a lot of times you already have the 
the five wires go into the unit, correct? Yes. So it's kind of like, you know, just to hook up two of those. And, um, and that's why we've gone with this, with this okay. solution. So now the, the brains and the, the microprocessor and every, all the program, that all resides on the thermostat. And then it communicates to the cloud um, to be, a, and that's what taps into your cell phone or your computer yeah. online. And you said the cloud, is that what everything is run through or, or do you have to hook them up to a particular server? Uh, so that's kind of what, what you go through with the, the portal or the, um, yeah, kind of the setup, the registration setup. But I want to be clear that um, our thermostat, it's a fully functioning thermostat without Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi drops out, they'll still be able to control it and, and do everything locally at the thermostat level. Okay, only at the thermostat level. Correct. Okay. Correct. So, we had a client, mm -hmm. a, a retail client, that we have installed them. Carl was, you know, one of our supervisor in Tucson, and it didn't hook to the router, mm -hmm. and it was constantly dropping out. They couldn't read it. It was all about the zeros, doing a cap, cap lock zero, small zero x, this that, hooking to the router. They kept going back and forth. Yeah, you know, I mean it was a constant problem. What so was that? that well, I don't. I'm not sure. It was probably this one. If it, it was, was recent, this one. okay. So the the um, the radio inside our thermostat, mm -hmm. and I'll send everybody this the the specifications of it. It's um, eight eight hundred two dot eleven BGN wireless routers. Right is what we work with. Um, it does handle, it's only a 2.4, it doesn't do 5 uh, gigahertz, 168-bit SSL encryption, and um, DHCP or static IP addressing. So, so with all of that, a retailer buys your program, buys your stat, sends it out to us, and we're, and this is in a grind, we're going back and forth when that should have been pre-checked right with the customer before your Ecobees come out saying, hey, do you have this router? Do you have the capability? Mm -hmm. What well, do we do? I mean, it was. It just sounds like it was in a place where the Wi-Fi wasn't strong that strong. Okay. So you can add a booster to it and that, that would fix it. And um, you know, that's one of the requirements. I always make sure to specify with the customers, look, this is a great product, great thermostat, um, but you gotta have Wi-Fi to really get all the functionality. I mean, yeah, it, it works uh, without those benefits, but then you're just kind of overpaying for thermostat. Correct. Um, and so that must have been in a place where they didn't have a strong Wi-Fi signal. So they could always add a booster, carry it. Okay. And that so from an the install issue. side, you know, we're used to the sub base having red, green, yellow, white, all the different color cords for the different terminals on the on a unit. Is it exactly the same? We get a sub base. We hook it up exactly the same. We mount it to the wall. We snap it in. You got it. Yep. I, I wish I uh, had some sub bases for you guys. I could show you, but it's pretty basic. I mean, if you've seen a thermostat, it looks the same. The sub base is there, does. Is there ports for um, remote sensors? Yeah. The the wired, the wired sensors? sensors. Yes. There's ports. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be um, and it's. I believe it's on here. It's uh, it's gonna be your R two and R1 plus and minus, so those are your dry contacts. Okay. And that's gonna be, I'll, I'll make sure to send that in the email to Mike, the technical specifications, it shows that. Okay. And then, other than that, you, you know, you have your um, your staging, uh, two heat, two cool, three heat, two cool, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just make sure we're programming for the right system. Yeah, and the nice thing is, with the sensors, you know, it's, it's generic um, sensors, it's just 10K. You can use any sensors, Honeywell oh, sensors. You got it. Okay. Yeah. We don't make the, the wired sensors. What? They communicate with any sensor that we have pre-existing? It's gotta be 10K um, okay. resistance the nice, and then, yeah. The nice thing about the thermostats is you can actually go in to the sensors and they've already got them pre-programmed in there for the most popular ones, Honeywell and oh, okay. whatever. Cool. And so you just, like, like you said, it's pretty much plug and play. Okay, correct. Cool. Yeah, then what about the residential model? Because we, we do residential here. Yeah. Have you used them on the residential side? Yeah. And 
I mean, I, I like to say it's.